Yes, so we're back. And if you just logging on, I got Lily, aka Bad Bad, in the building. She been she been messing with me all night. Ever since she done got here, she been messing with me. Yeah. All right, let's get back to it. I know it's ghetto up in here tonight, but it'd be all right. Now, Lily, yeah. talk to me about more. When we got another album coming out? We're going to drop a mixtape. A mixtape is coming. It's called Bad Bad Sight. Now, when are we looking for this to drop? I drop bombshells. That might drop Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So make sure. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thanksgiving. While you eating your turkey, listen to Bad Bad. And you're going to have a good Thanksgiving. That's right. So who hosting this mixtape? Nobody. Nobody. No DJ. Okay. A lot of artists don't do that. I know. They got to have somebody in the background. Reason why? Against them, but I, one thing I learned about South Carolina, South Carolina is very biased. So when you have one DJ working with your mixtape, you might find another DJ that might not want to touch your mixtape because you're working with a DJ that might not be affiliated with your life. So it puts you in a position as an artist to the point where you have to just do what you do. And I'd rather do it without nice. a DJ. Now see, see that's the problem with South Carolina right now. We there's a lot of artists that don't collab with each other. Chuck, T, I see the video with Chuck T. Shout out Chuck T. He was explaining the reason why most South Carolina artists don't come together and basically just do what everybody else do. I mean, what you other than egos? What could be another reason why? And what? How can we get these people to come together? I mean, pretty much, I think. I mean, it's hard to make everybody yeah. come together. That bre the bread is the one thing. Yeah. And you have a lot of cutthroat people. So, I mean, in this game, I all I can say is you just got to stick with who's loyal to you and who's willing to work with you and help you progress, and you can help them progress, and y'all can all eat together. That's the best way I can explain it. You just have a fine, a loyal group of people. Now, yes, I know this on a lot of your tracks. You don't have no major artists. No. Like, you got a lot of people running to get whoever that's hot right now. And you've been doing what you're doing by yourself. Correct. Hustle. That's right. Grind. That's the main thing. Yeah. So why have you never went and got... A major is only good. If you're better than that major that's rapping on your record. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people depend on the major to make their record. You depend, when you spent $10,000 to get this major on your record, I could have spent $10,000 in promo. Mm -hmm. So as an independent artist, I'd rather take my $10,000, spend it on my own promo to promote myself, to make myself just as big as they are. So now my value hold, my name gonna hold just as much as weight as they are. See, that's true. That's true stuff right there. That's, that's business-wise, man. I mean, a lot of cats, they, I guess they're afraid that they can't do it on their own. A you lot of them that? are. See, a lot of them are? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't go against that because I hear some of their tracks by themselves and they don't, they don't produce like they did with that major. And like you said, taking that, st that 10 stacks and putting it on promo, man, you know, that's, that's probably going to double up. Correct. Down the road, so I mean, you. I ain't got no words for it. I mean, you, you right now, you just you grinding. You, you independently doing it on your own. No help, no handout, no nothing. And female artists, if you're listening right now, y'all need to pay attention. Listen to the blueprint of what Lily talking about, because it's some real stuff. This industry is cutthroat. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll get lost in it quick. Yeah. But now these female artists, let's get back to them. They dress as sexy. They they more visible now to these people out here. They they basically giving them a, a, a an image that you know, like for me, for to be a, a female artist, you got to be hard. 
I ain't saying no Tims yeah. and hoodies and nothing like that, but they going for the R and B look. Like right now, you you don't have an R and B look. You you a thug? I can tell right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You've been in this area, so you definitely a thug. So just separate yourself from from everybody. Like how you how? I mean, other than the grind, how do you put yourself in not that always being sexy mode to being you got to be on that that thug side occasionally? Because if you one thing I can tell you, you can be sexy, you can be butt naked, excuse me, you can be whatever. That's allowed. But at the same time, when your record go on that shelf, can you sell a record? And at the end of the day, I've learned I can sell records without having to sell sex. So just imagine if I sell sex, it doubles. That's how I feel about selling sex and girls being black naked. It's like, if that's what it takes for you to get a dollar, then I salute it. But at the end of the day, you ain't gonna sell too many records if you can't rap. If no talent, don't get you no, you know, it's not gonna get you no record. And there's a lot of no talent female rappers out there right now that need to step the game up. But that's another story. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get into this live track. Introduce it, tell us about it. How did you come up with it? I know it's, it's, it's talking about your life, but give us more in depth about the track Life. Life was a track. Shout out to Mr. Drumline and Core Plow, my engineer, and Nate, Bad Bay and T. We was in the studio, felt the song. We already knew what the concept we wanted to come up with. Went in there, did the lyrics. Shout out to CP Core Plow. He came up with the hook. We all sat there, you know, put our opinions about the hook together. And I went in, killed the verse, and life came out. And shout out Corey Plow, man. He went, he did his thing on that, that no beef. So shout out to him. Shout out Mr. Drumline. Boy, oh boy. I can't wait to hear this album here. As soon as I get off the air, I'm putting it right in the car. So, Lily, let's go ahead and get into it. It's life. Matter of fact, you go ahead and introduce it. I ain't going to do that. This is my single off my Bad Bad Nation album available on iTunes called Life featuring CP. Y'all check it out from the streets to the radio. Dedication Radio 88.1 WSBF FM, Clemson, Tiger Nation and beyond. Let's go. Life. 